through the history of the human race, whenever somebody finds a new piece of technology, whether it be you know, oil paints or fire or anything, it spurs a whole bunch of new creative possibilities. It gives us something that has only been possible in our mind before. You know, when you dream or when you imagine things, it allows that imagination really, really to be sort of viscerally beamed to an audience member that they can be part of that vision. Most people have really hardly any idea what virtual reality is. This is going to come out and it's going to be a new technology that they've never seen or really heard of. Back in the Civil War, they had stereo cameras that would have two photos that would be in a wood slat with eye viewing holes and a handle and the photos would be at the end. You'd look through this thing and see a dimensional image. So what VR is, is that, but instead of an old photo, now you have video that has head tracking information so that you're looking at something in real time and you're able to look around the environment that you're in. 360 degree immersive environments that you can experience putting on a headset like an Oculus or a Samsung Gear. To make it feel like you're actually in a place that you are not. Currently your way of being entertained, you have a television screen, iPad, and you're looking at that single flat screen and you're able to explore the internet or watch a movie. VR is, instead of looking at something on a tablet, you are inside the video game. Everywhere you look, everywhere you move is a virtually new immersive environment. Virtual reality is an expansion of some mediums that we're already used to. First person gaming, for instance, is nothing new, but first person gaming where it fills your peripheral vision and you are actually turning your head instead of moving a joystick to look around is a completely different ball game in terms of the level of immersion and the feeling of actually being a participant in that world. And what sort of elevates it as an experience beyond being parked in a movie theater watching a glowing rectangle. Everybody's talking about virtual reality. It's the buzzword, VR, VR, VR. And I was like, oh yeah, whatever, you know, I saw Lawnmower Man. But then I put that headset on and I never went back. Bullets coming at you and a car's flipping over and my brain knew I was in front of my friends, but then my brain didn't know. My brain thought I was walking through that parking lot. So in the back of my head, I'm thinking, okay, this isn't real, this isn't real, but it seems so real. And there's a robot that jumps out at you at the end. And I jumped because your brain's an idiot and VR fools it. When we were at E3, Oculus had a, a, a cool um, a toy box demo and they have a table with all these toys in front of it. And you, you, you play, it's a two player sort of collaborative thing. And I ended up leaning on the table at one point and almost falling on my face because, because it wasn't actually there. Then you put the VR headset on people and they do this thing. And sometimes they do this. It is the coolest freaking thing I've ever seen and I'm obsessed. I loved it, it was great. I actually felt my body start trembling and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa calm it down. <laughs> Super realistic, I didn't, I wasn't expecting what I, what I got out of it. I wanna see more VR now that I've seen it once, I wanna see more. You definitely see that spark recaptured. You know, that spark that people feel when they're seeing a really great magic trick for the first time and they don't know how you did it. I don't, I don't want to be here anymore. I want to go back. <laughs> Let me go back. That's fantastic. There's no other technology that can enable you to actually feel like you're experiencing something incredible, to experience something that's out of this world. You know, watching a movie, reading a book, playing a video game, those are all fun things to do, but they don't actually trick you into thinking that you are in this fantasy world, and that's something that virtual reality alone can do. I think people are just so excited about the concept of being able to creatively do things they've never been able to do before, to wow audiences in ways they've never experienced. You know, it's what we live for, it's what technologists live for, it's what artists live for, is to, you know, how to, how to give something to somebody that they've never, ever, ever experienced before.